So Thank one you. of the reasons parents put up with this is anyone who says anything is instantly punished. Travis Allen learned that the hard way. He was a girls' soccer coach at Randolph Union Middle School in Vermont. He was just suspended from his job without pay because he complained about a male student looming around the girls' locker room. Then the school, because this is North Korea at this point, punished Travis Allen's daughter, Blake Allen, for speaking about it, too. Blake Allen was on the volleyball team. Blake Allen and Travis Allen join us tonight. We're going to talk to their lawyer in just a moment. Um, thank you both so much for coming on. Travis, first to you, did I misstate what happened? You complained about a man in the women's locker room and you were punished? Correct. I made a media post, or sorry, a social media post that referred to the male student as a male, and I was punished because I misgendered him. You lost your job, or you're suspended without pay from your job? Correct, as the soccer coach. So you were the creep in this. I, I have to ask, did other employees at the school take you aside and say we're on your side? Did anyone protest your suspension? Uh, none of the other employees did. Uh, other community members have supported me, though, privately. It's, it's beyond belief. But thank you for complaining, by the way, at, at very least. <laughs> Blake Allen, what did you do wrong in the eyes of the school, and how were you punished? I was in the locker room, and the trans student walked in, and, and there was um, the rest of the team was in there, and we were... I was really uncomfortable and I left and I told the school and they just shut me down and said there's nothing they could do and I was later suspended because I voiced my opinion that a male shouldn't be in the women's locker room and then when we filed a lawsuit they dropped the suspension. How, how, how old are you? How old were you when this happened? I'm 14. I'm a freshman. You're 14 years old and when you complained about a dude in the girls locker room you got suspended? Yes. Who's just, can you tell us the name of the person who made that decision? Uh, Lane Millington. Yeah. And how, was, how did this adult communicate your suspension to you? What, what, what did you do wrong in the, in the view of this adult? Um, I think they were mad that I was telling people how I thought it was wrong and that a male shouldn't be allowed to be with us in the locker room. <laughs> You're 14 years old. Um, what, tell us what your classmates thought. Were they on your side? Uh, yeah, a lot of my classmates were supportive. I think most people in the school are. They're just too scared to speak up because they see all the backlash I'm getting for it. Well, you're very brave. Because not dad only is was brave. I suspended. Thank, thank you. you. Um, I'm supposed to do, I was going to do a restorative justice circle and write a letter of apology. To whom? To the dude? The trans student. To the, to the boy who was in the girls' locker room? Yes. You have to write and a letter of I apology. I said I would rather have a five-day suspension than have to apologize because I'm not sorry. How for old was... my opinion. Well, good... God, God bless you. How old was the boy? <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Huh. Um, have, <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to continue with the school? Um, yeah, for now. It's all, it's all so unbelievable. It really is. Yes. And it's only when people like you, Travis Allen and Blake Allen, take the lumps, stand up, tell the truth for just basic, basic human rights, like the right to change without some guy staring at you. It's only when you do that that things get better. So I appreciate that you both did and that you're willing to talk on this show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I want to go now to your lawyer, Tyson Langhofer, who serves at Senior, Senior Counsel at Alliance Defending Freedom. Tyson, thanks for coming on. What is the case that you're making at the, on behalf of, of these two? Sure. Well, the school district, they retaliated against both Blake and Travis for just simply stating their views. And, and First Amendment retaliation is, is, is a, uh, you know, prohibited by the Constitution. I mean, that's very clear that the government cannot retaliate against individuals simply for sharing their views. I mean, the crazy thing about this, Tucker, is that, uh, the, you know, Blake, Blake understands this issue. She doesn't need to be reeducated. Males are males, females are females. And Blake shouldn't be forced to, you know, change in front of a male or watch a male change. But that's what they're forcing her to do. And they're trying to force their ideology down everybody's throat and then punish anybody that, that has a different viewpoint. That's unconstitutional. Well, I thought they cared about girls, too. 14-year-old girls don't have a right to get dressed without a boy watching? 
I mean, is anyone standing up for girls? I mean, I'm hardly a feminist, but but what? Where are all the feminist groups? Yeah, it's it's a good question. I mean, and then that's the that's the really sad thing is when a when a father comes and says, "Hey, who's standing up for my daughter?" He gets punished. He loses his job. He's suspended yeah. without pay for simply saying, "Hey, what about my daughter?" You don't know. What well, the sad thing is is all the other fathers who didn't do that, who are cowering like the cowards they are in their homes and letting this happen to their girls without fighting back. They should feel deep shame, and I hope they do. And I appreciate your coming on, Tyson Langhofer. Thank you.